Okay, so today's Thursday and I'm off work today because I'm working the long weekend, 12 hour shifts, Saturday and Sunday, which means that I need to get a couple more days of meal prep done. And I've been kind of craving beef lately. That's all I've been talking about is, you know, ground beef this and cheeseburger that and steak this and short ribs and I don't know, just all sorts of beefy items. So. I'm going to have some beef this weekend and I'm actually going to try a recipe that I'm going to eat for two days in a row. I don't usually do that all the time but I think this one's going to be good because one of my favorite things in the world besides grilled cheese is a cheeseburger. So I'm going to make a Big Mac salad or cheeseburger salad, whatever you want to call it, that's what I'm going to have Saturday and Sunday for my meal. So I'm going to do my Bulletproof coffee, get my avocados ready, and do my um, salad. And then I'll have a recipe for you for sugar-free Thousand Island dressing. So stay tuned for that. So let's get on with the prepping. Okay, so now it's time to make the Thousand Island dressing for the salad. So the first thing that I'm going to add is 57 grams of mayonnaise that's 57 right there and then I'm going to add 57 grams of sour cream Zero that out. Just a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to add 57 grams of ketchup. And I'm using this sugar free ketchup by Nature's Hollow sweetened with xylitol. So zero that out. Ooh, that was 61. That's a little bit too much. And then I'm going to add 45 grams of pickle relish, just dill relish, no sugar added. Forty-five. Let's see if I can get that close. Right there, on the money. And then a tablespoon of mustard, or 15 grams. Ooh, that was 18 going to be a little mustardy. And I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. A nice healthy pinch. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Because I like pepper. I'm going to add um, half a tablespoon of onion flakes because I think onion would be good in it and onions are a little bit carby so I'm just going to use these dehydrated onions inside and then a little squirt of stevia two squirts all right Give it a mix. All right, and that's going to be 
a delicious Thousand Island dressing on our cheeseburger salad. All right, so my weekend meal prep is done. Look at that. I switched things around, didn't I? Here, let's fix that. That's the dyslexia in me coming through right there. Okay, so what do I have in these containers? Let's check. In this container, I have my two tablespoons of MCT oil, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and then this time I added this coconut flavored stevia. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. And in here I have a tablespoon and a half of collagen and a tablespoon of sunflower lecithin and half a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. And then for my salad, I have everything all together. Underneath that, I have 90 the 95 grams of buttered lettuce, because I love butter lettuce. Two slices of bacon, because why not? It's bacon. Four little grape tomatoes, or I think it was 35 grams. I have about two tablespoons of pickle relish and then an ounce of spicy Colby Jack cheese. Then, let's put the lid on that, I have five ounces of ground beef that I just cooked up in the pan with a little bit of salt and pepper and some garlic. So that's Saturday. And then Sunday is just pretty much more of the same. I have my wet ingredients for my keto coffee my dry ingredients for my keto coffee. I have the 95 grams of butter lettuce, two slices of bacon, four little grape tomatoes, one ounce of spicy Colby Jack cheese, and two tablespoons of pickle relish. And then I have another five ounces of ground beef that I sauteed, cooked it up. And then I put my salad dressing, Thousand Island dressing, in this mason jar. And I'll measure it out at work as I need it. And I tasted this dressing, and oh my goodness, you need to make this. If you like Thousand Island dressing or if you need it for something, this is the ticket right here. Try that because I think you'll like it. Saturday morning and I'm on my way to work and oh my goodness look at that sunrise okay I'm looking forward forward to a good weekend so let's see what happens oh man that's beautiful okay just another look at that sunrise oh my goodness Here we are. Time to work. They've got all the equipment ready. And right here, they're going to have a new clinic. Yeah, it's going to be big. And here's the back part of the hospital. There's that sunrise. It's going to go away in a few minutes. Okay, so one thing I haven't been showing is me drinking broth first thing in the morning. It's one of the first things I do when I get to work or when I wake up when I'm not working. And I'm just using this beef base. It's delicious. And I just put about 9 grams of beef base in there. And 2 tablespoons of sole water. I and mean, I'm going to fill that up with hot water and this is going to be my first drink trying to get my electrolytes in. Alright, there it is. Ready to go. I'll let it cool off a little and then I'll drink it. And I just wanted to come back and say that 
um, yeah, the Soleil water, I had a hard time drinking it in just plain water with a little bit of Mio or water drops or something in it to flavor it. It just wasn't something that I could really drink all the time. I could drink it like medicine, but not really enjoy it. But if you're having trouble getting your sodium in, I feel like this is the best way right here. Two tablespoons of sole water and about nine grams of beef broth. All right, so it's 9.30 and I'm pretty hungry right now. I've been cooking all morning. So I better get some food down me before I eat something bad. So I'm gonna start myself off with a bunch of healthy fat. So I have my keto coffee and 150 grams of avocado. Okay, it's just about 2.30 and it's time to have my salad. So in this bowl, I have about 95 grams of butter lettuce, 35 grams of tomatoes, five ounces of um, ground beef, one ounce of Colby Jack spicy cheddar cheese, two tablespoons of pickle relish, and three tablespoons of the Thousand Island Ranch dressing that I made. It looks delicious and I can't wait to dig in. All right, so it's Sunday morning and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and I've been really busy. Even though it's Easter, there's been a lot of people coming in to eat. So I didn't really have time to make my coffee until now, but I have been snacking on three of these little cream cheese things. They're one ounce each and I had three of them. So three ounces of cream cheese. Oops, that just jumped right out of my hand. How do you like those apples? So anyway, I was trying to decide what I was going to do today as far as eating goes because it's kind of late and I haven't had anything but that cream cheese. So I went ahead and made myself a coffee, a keto coffee, and so that's it for right now. We'll see what I do later. Okay, so for my last meal of the day, I have 76 grams of 50-50 blend lettuce. Three tablespoons of ranch and about four and a half ounces of chuck roast. Okay, so that's it for my weekend meal prep and my two full days of eating. I hope you enjoyed that and I have a little treat for you. Um, today's April 1st and I'm joining a collab um, VEDA a video every day in April so for the next 30 days I'm going to be doing a vlogathon so I hope you enjoy it because I have a lot of good ideas of things that I want to vlog about so we'll have recipes we'll have a little bit of meal prep and full days of eating I don't want to bore you with that every single day but I'll still include some of that and then just some vlogging fun so that's all that I have for you today so until next time, keep calm and keto on.